Now we are going to use any spray paint. And uh, this also is going to reinforce the figurine itself. As much paint we put, you know, because those paints, they are acrylic, they give this kind of uh, uh, extra strength because it's like a layer and layer of, a, uh, of plastic. Okay, when it dries, when it dries off and give this strength to the, the clay that avoids chipping and, uh, and cracking. Now I'm going to do that. Well, always do that with a very well ventilated area or outside, you know. If not wear a mask, that's a very toxic and flammable. Then take care of that. This is the final product that, um, yeah, it looks cool. Of course, you can do that, you know, masking the face and the hands and painting by hand, you know, all the details you want. This is just like a to show you how to develop like a figurine in a very easy, easy way, a self-supporting figurine uh, that you don't need to, uh, you know, to put it in the kiln. Uh, it's self-drying with the regular clay. Uh, that's why we use all these coatings in order to protect chipping and breaking. Um, we have to let it dry. Uh, one of the things that, you know, sometimes I forget to say is that when you finish the figure, you have to take it out of the uh, structure that we use in order to support the wet clay and then let it dry for at least five days, one week, and after that, start uh, putting all the coatings one after another. And uh, till then, till the final pain coating.